My first experience of schizophrenia took place at the age of 19. I was instructed to walk out of my flat and um, there was the sawn off stump of an oak tree which I stood on and I went into pseudo crucifix position and entered a trance state. I seemed to have access to some sort of cosmic secret and, and um, my trance state was broken by an Irishman that approached me and he said to me, he said, you know something, don't you? And I said, well, yes, I do. And he said, well, can you tell me what you know? And I said, well, I know everything there is to know about not knowing. And he said to me, well, can you tell me how to improve my golf then? I think I was of little assistance. Four clinicians arrived at the house. The next thing I knew, I was being held down and forcibly injected with an, a sedative or neuroleptics, whatever that concoction was, I don't know. All I know is I woke up in a psychiatric institution. My first psychic awareness experience of schizophrenia was manifest very visually. So I decided to go to art college to learn the vocabulary and the language to actually articulate that in visual form. Apparently, we utilize consciously a tenth of our brain capacity. For me, schizophrenia was like this other 90% suddenly coming into being. The aim of my exhibition, Beyond Reason, is to highlight the spiritual and creative aspects of the experience of schizophrenia. I don't do this for my own therapy. I do this to communicate to other people. I want to translate the experience of schizophrenia in a lucid, clear, coherent way. One in a hundred people are diagnosed schizophrenic. 1% of the population of the world, the chosen few. I um, actually have depicted the one in that hundred as a butterfly, the embodiment of exquisite sensitivity, fragility and beauty. The remaining 99 are represented as Rorschach ink blot tests. And that is a bit tongue in cheek because I don't regard everybody as ink blot tests. One of my pieces depicts a series of Xerox prints which are cross-sections of the brain on which are imposed a variety of coloured Smarties with question marks on. That is a reference not only to the neuroleptic drugs that they impose upon the schizophrenic, it's also a reference to the psychiatrists who most certainly are Smarties, or should I say more accurately, smart asses. These four crosses are the culmination and apex of my life and work experience. The first cross depicts a golden halo and nails on my hands and my feet. This is a representation of the way in which I perceived Christ consciousness. The second cross is entitled Rest in Pieces. In place of the halo is now a wreath and imposed upon the hands and feet are now syringes with neuroleptic drugs in. This is a representation of the way in which the clinicians actually crucified the Christ in me. The third cross is entitled Double Cross. And now in place of the wreath and the halo is a crown of thorns in the form of barbed wire implying torture. This is a representation of the sense of betrayal and resentment at having the Christ crucified in me by the clinicians. The fourth cross is entitled Kiss of Life. Now on the hands are superimposed kiss marks, literally kissing the wounds better. And of course, when we give the kiss of life, we resuscitate, we bring back to life. So this is my personal resurrection. I saw the crescent You saw the whole of the moon The 
clinicians will attempt to obliterate schizophrenia, to obliterate the experience, to block it by, by any cost. Instead of blocking the experience, they should be working to integrate the experience coherently, constructively, and creatively into the individual's life. I actually regard schizophrenia as an imposed enlightenment, a mystical experience. And R.D. Lang, uh, an eminent, although unorthodox, psychiatrist, made this link between the mystic and the schizophrenic. And he actually said, the mystic and the schizophrenic find themselves in the same ocean. But whereas the mystic swims, the schizophrenic drowns. I agree wholeheartedly with his, uh, his li the link he made between the mystic and the schizophrenic. But I point out the failure of his statement in that the schizophrenic can learn to swim, given the opportunity. Put a torch in your pocket And the wind at your heels You've climbed on the ladder And you know how it feels to get too high I can't escape the label of schizophrenia. That has been imposed upon me. So what I do, I do it rather like the Impressionist. The term Impressionist was a derogatory term imposed upon them. And they said, call us Impressionists, we'll wave it like a banner. And they took it and wore it next to their heart. What I do is precisely the same thing. Call me schizophrenic, but understand I love schizophrenia. An exhibition of Aidan's work can be seen at the Gracefield Arts Centre in Dumfries throughout November. The